Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today's topic is Prosthodontic Denture Stomatitis. So it is a very simple topic. The name itself gives the idea about denture stomatitis that is a denture causing inflammation in oral cavity. Okay, so the inflammation cause is the denture. So we have seen inflammation of uh, people who uh, wear dentures for a chronic period so it has got some names such as denture induced stomatitis denture sore mouth chronic atrophic candidiasis so it commonly appear as a uh, mild erythema or uh, redness and it is commonly seen in old age people middle to old age people because we know uh, complete denture wearers are uh, towards uh, 50 plus or 60 plus age category so most of the cases the denture stomatitis will be seen in maxilla because the more coverage area of this denture and uh, around 70 percentage of the denture virus has this problem that is denture stomatitis and what are the predisposing factors so what factors are uh, making this to happen such as uh, wearing dentures at night so some uh, might not remove the dentures from the mouth for a uh, few days so in such patients those who wear continuously without removing or allowing the uh, maxilla or mandible to get back to its normal uh, state because anyway these dentures will create irritation or compression on the maxilla and mandible so we need to allow the maxilla or mandible the edentulous space to be normal uh, without the dentures for a certain period of time that's why we ask the patient to keep the dentures in water for the night period but some patients might not do that in such patients the high chances of denture stomatitis and patients whose uh, salivary flow is impaired uh, people with uh, dry mouth and it is also seen uh, commonly with uh, diabetes patient HIV patients so exactly what is the etiology because uh, the etiology is the changes in the oral environment because of the complete dentures or uh, removable other dentures such as the poor oral hygiene okay. so poor oral hygiene and there will be candida so candida species will be there in most of the cases and can also occur because of the mechanical irritation and bacterial infections okay so candida infection bacterial infection or mechanical irritation okay so these could be the etiology of dangerous stomatitis so it starts like uh, accumulation of plaque then what happens there will be uh, colonization of this candida colonization of candida happens that is candida albicans species then there will be uh, increased in, uh, candidal enzymatic activity so ultimately it leads to inflammation because uh, there will be low salivary flow and decreased pH okay so plaque accumulation colonization of candida species then um, increased candidal enzymatic activity due to the low salivary flow and low pH and it leads to inflammation so the clinical features are as I mentioned erythema sometimes edema of the mucosa in contact with dentures so the denture bearing areas are often uh, face this problem if it has a sharp edge of the denture so chronic irritation also cause this problem so if we have any uh, sharp edges on the border we need to trim it off so 
patient might not have the problem of pain mostly and sometimes patient uh, express complications such as uh, angular stomatitis or papillar hyperplasia in the palatal vault so there is a classification for uh, this dengue stomatitis that is newton's classification uh, there are three progressive stages the type one is numerous uh, pinpoint changes okay numerous pinpoint uh, stages that is a presence of uh, lesions pinpoint lesion then the type 2 is more diffused simple lesions involving uh, part of the maxilla or all of the maxilla that is uh, the denture covering area okay so more diffused so more diffused lesion and the type 3 is inflammatory papillary hyperplasia okay so most commonly on the central part of hard palate and alveolar ridge so that is inflammatory papillary hyperplasia so these are the three classification type 1 2 3 and 1 1 2 and 3 that is a pinpoint lesions more diffuse lesion and inflammatory papillary hyperplasia so regarding diagnosis it depends on clinical findings and in presence of angular stomatitis or other systemic lesions further investigations are required such as a blood picture smears and culture or biopsy or even hiv serology so in management first thing is patient education we need to educate the patient about dengue stomatitis and what could be the cause for dengue stomatitis and how it can be uh, managed and properly uh, give the instructions of denture how to um, massage the maxilla and mandibular ridges and ask the patient to uh, keep the denture in water during the night period so such things we need to educate the patient then about the uh, hygiene instruction how to properly clean the denture and oral cavity and treatment of any underlying diseases such as diabetes or anemia should be addressed properly because even if we properly educate the patient and um, patient is doing well but still there is an underlying systemic problem we will not get the good result so we need to control the underlying disease and uh, if there is any problem such as anti fungal uh, problem we need to uh, use nystatin drops or we can also use we can also so that's all about uh, dengue stomatitis it's a very simple topic but it's commonly asked as a short note so we learned management diagnosis uh, classification etiology and predisposing factors so hope you understood this very simple topic I'll come up with a new topic in prosthodontics. Thank you.